ekonene soka kuna story nimekuwa nikifuatilia ni story ya uh, um, Moses Kuria so Moses Kuria of course is part of this government and uh, i don't know like personally mnajuaga like i it's someone that i don't respect it's someone that i i just find to uh, be like he should be a village leader he should not be on a national level but uh, majuzi alikuwa I mean, he, and I do like this press conference because, you know, he's part of uh, like the advisory committee, yeah, yeah, president. And uh, so I think if you thought that maybe kuangea juya sehe munyeti haezi kufikisha pali in life, aona place mefikisha nani, uh, Moses Kuria. So during your time, akabaki ya mebonga juya vile wanataka kutumia M-Pesa pay bill as an avenue of looking for taxes and uh, this is t- tricky because it shows you that mbadi might be the cabinet secretary for treasury but the same old people wale walikuwa na Naruto before are still working with him so how much freedom or to come up with policy etc that does mbadi have cuz ukisikia nani akibonga like if you'd given mbadi this same script it would have sounded exactly the same because here Moses Kuria sounds like the cabinet secretary our uh, treasury we've agreed with the with the with the commissioner general here that all those pebbles uh, Mr James Mureu because they are they are your members they are your customers please whisper to them that come christmas 2024 all pebbles will also be virtual ETRs for purposes of KRA. And I know there's going to be some noise, but I also want you to tell me, where did we agree that someone will not pay taxes? So, Nacheki, so, um, uh, umachiki vila nasema, so, pay bills zitakuwa, zinatumika kama ETRs, and where did we agree that we, uh, people should not pay taxes? This is how you have to look at it. Not everything that goes to a pay bill is income or forever. Like when mwenyewe ukitaka ku deposit do yako size kwa bank, you'll deposit it through a pay bill. And what this this is going to do is it's going to take us back to cash, dealing with cash because a lot of people wataona ah instead of ini ni itatreatwa kama tax. We mimi nachukua cash peke yake. So history ya cash peke yake inaenda kurudi and with cash peke yake comes crimes. Unajua kuna crimes zikuwa zime reduce like Back in the days when people got paid you'd find uh, like around end month hivi mabudal kwa time ana mashati zimepasuka na nini cause they'd walk around with cash nowadays like Kenya is one of the most cashless societies out there but um, another thing like when i look at people like akina moses kuria come out and say that uh, we need to pay our taxes i get two feelings about it kuna ile feeling moja ile ya of course the more that you try to collect tax from people the less they pay unajua ile like you try to over tax or say what ends up happening is a lot of people end up evading uh, the taxes and another thing that comes to mind is e experiment ya ku pay taxes even like the former treasury guy anaitwa professor ndongo vile alikuwa anatoka alikuwa anasema eh, history high taxation because that's what's going to happen tukianza ku treat every transaction ya pay bill as taxable income It's going to be a problem but professor ndongal komesema from this notion that high tax rates will raise high tax revenue the, the reality is the opposite I don't want to mention who drives us there but uh, there, there are so many colleagues here to tell you exactly what we need to do so because high taxes cannot bring you high tax revenue what do we need to do we need to study how we can optimize each tax instrument So I need to study how to optimize uh, each tax instrument and this hard look at it the government makes money from easy and pesa transactions na jo easy like your doki dogo you trying to miaga like if it's you're doing a pay bill you pay an extra 5 bob wengine 10 bob wengine wando 8 uh, kama bank transfers mob na jo kuna kwa gani inafika hiyo level ya wando 8 blah 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 gava ina make gi do from safaricom from izo that's why safaricom is one of the nini tuki tan kila kitu kwa cash that's lost revenue that's revenue that's not going to be taxable cuz no one wants to pay taxes but still unless they have to but still we need to pay our taxes but as much as we need to pay our taxes another thing that we as Kenyans don't need is for someone who's part of the problem 
to tell us that we need to pay taxes. What do I mean by that? Umse anaitwa Moses Kuria alifikishwa mbele ya nini? Uh, like the Senate committee due abonge ya the fact that kulikuwa na scandal like an edible oil scandal ila libaki amefikishwa mbele yake and in this edible oil scandal billions were lost uh, i think kuna headline imetokea majuzi ile inasema 6.6 billion shillings was lost and this 6.6 billion shillings where do you think this money was from this was taxpayers money so how can the guy who overlooked 6.6 billion shillings being stolen turn around and tell us that we need to pay more money while Ilepesa, and this guy is one of the president's advisors on the economy. So, to me, when I look at such people, I get angry because I'm like, you're part of the problem. You're part of the people who should be uko menyamaza. Like, ata hii story, ya nini, ya litra, alikuwa, he was very arrogant. Ata hii time vila lifikisha guwa mbele ya, 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 ya the Senate. But, wacha tu usikia vila the headline nilienda. Trade and Investment Cabinet Secretary. Has, was hard pressed by the Senate to explain the approval of a government agency to import duty free edible oils. The Kenyan National Trading Corporation, the KNTC, is said to have imported 125,000 tons of edible oil early this year. Kuria defended the transaction that is believed to, a, to have cost Kenyans billions of shillings in lost revenue. Um, billions of shillings in lost, uh, lost revenue. This was uh, last year and uh, like june last year ndo history ilikuwa ime ime imetokea alafu of course now this year this month KNTC au the Kenyan National Trading Corporation wakabaki wame come out wakasema that as taxpayers we lost 6.6 billion shillings so who was at the helm when we were losing the 6.6 billion shillings the finance advisor to the president you see this is the guy telling us and apart from whom say kutusaidia ama kufanya country ilu 6.6 billion shillings usisahau um say still na hakusiu nation because if this was untrue I and mean, if this was just false allegations he should have sued the nation newspaper unless the case is in court and i don't know about it but last year nation only and article kwa kwa exclusive moses kuria kra chairman bagged millions in ghost stadium projects skio Moses Kuria and the KRA chairman. Who KRA chairman? Nimse ameiba allegedly ameiba do yetu kama taxpayers but he's still the KRA chairman. And watu wanatuuliza we need to pay more money. See what I have a problem with. So, kwa hii deal inasemekana uh, wase walipata hii deal kulikuwa na yeye Moses Kiari Kuria uh, through his company Smith and Gold Productions then kuna Anthony Mwaura the KRA board chair to Civil Engineering Limited kuna Benjamin Kumbai Masharia kuna Mark Mwendo kuna David Diangui alafu kulikuwa na kam Chinese flani. and um, with this i think Moses Kuria was around like he got around 270 million so if you are earning free money it's so easy for you to sneer at the rest of us who earn honest money and claim that we don't pay our fair share of taxes. Why? Because dirty money can be hidden. Clean money is very visible. You can see it coming in and you can see it going. Dirty money na kujaga hivi na come in bags, na come in gunia, na come in vitu kama hizo. So this is one of the reasons why this person can stand and feel like we who have to work for every shilling are not paying enough taxes. And don't forget Kenya is one of the most taxed places tuna tax gi everything that we tuna tax food tuna tax nini tuna tax nini and like the greatest economies in the, uh, like uh, economists in the world have studied and not, noticed that taxing does not make economies grow hiyo inakuwa gatuni story an economy has to have reached a certain level before taxes kuwe that's why nimekuwa nikipatia an example ya texas where walipatia tesla like kujeni tutawaridishia taxes open a factory here try to imagine if Kenya had done the same to be like akina Volkswagen Toyota vile Toyota inakuwa gani ni like kuja hapa tuwapatia with whatever will we lose out on the import tax yes but more Kenyans will be able to buy cars hapa so we'll still have your whatever tax i don't know what it's called but now um i still have to look at this whole thing and wonder like does uh, is is somebody the CS wa treasury ama yake iko tu najua ni ile like 
is is what what is what's his work and where does his job end and where does uh, David D and Moses Kuria enter because uh, one thing that has been common with this government is there are a lot of people doing the same job and it's so many jobs that unapata the same same job but ukiangalia the number of people doing that kama ikikam to sorry na communications kuna like wase kama watano wale wana do communications so ikikam to history a treasury is Dave, is devin d the tre- cs for treasury is it uh, moses kuria or is it uh, mbadi and this is a question ile nilibaki nimeuliza uh, mijungu nilimuuliza like does he think that mbadi is going to succeed Ruto. Mm. So if Ruto has total goodwill that he wants these guys to perform, Badi will perform. I just hope he will not be polluted by these niceties, right? Mm. Mm. So he could because he's qualified for the job. He's qualified. There are few, he's one of the few uh, CSs who are qualified for what they do. Mm. So I believe Badi can. But you see, the president can be mischievous. Mm. I give you a position to pacify you but the decisions at the treasury are made at state house with Akinandi and the economic council. Mm. So Akina economic council ni Akina nani? Ni Akina Moses Kuria. And that's why uh, Moses Kuria kama ni watch ukiwa maju <laughs> unafaa kujua Moses Kuria pull some shit out of his ass. Avile news ama gam ukiwa maju that you'd find super funny. Like um say alikuwa anasema vile according to yeye a Kenya inafaa ku integrate system yake na foreign countries ndio wa, wa, like wa Kenyans wako nje ya Kenya wabaki wamelipa taxes so umse in his small confused world anafikiria kuwa IRS ile iko states inzabaki imekubali ku share information yako na na KRA doesn't work like that because if i'm wrong but come kwa majum tan correct but if i'm wrong majui na kuaga if you don't file your taxes no one gives a fuck till they come at your door irs comes at your door so kilipagwa salo you actually paid your whole money where lipa tax that's why hata ukiendaga kubai kitu state na kuaga kitu kama ndiko 5 dollars haijaa kwa tax bado tax utaekewa hapo mwisho so kipatiwa check yako unapatiwa check wewe ndio ulipe tax zako which a lot of people don't do this is the reason why a lot of celebrities end up are losing their money blah 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 cuz ali pagi taxes ama they use the wrong advice but eh hey, umsali sema hivyo that was wako majuu sa hizi jo lazima mlipe tax zenyu mkiwa majuu hiyo highway unatumia ukiwa california lipa tax kenya and finally even if we are able to modernize and to automate everything within our borders we cannot uh, be fully successful unless we go the extra mile and go cross border So I, 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 this morning uh, we were, I was delighted to hear that in the UK they don't just uh, you know, look at uh, uh, compliance from within the borders. We have to go cross-border, integrate with customs uh, authorities in other countries, uh, you know, uh, trade facilitation systems, port community systems, any other source of information that can be able to ensure that we are as accurate and we are on point as much as possible because for us it is not a nice to have it's a must have that- so um first of all pesa yetu ya ya stadium ziko wapi otherwise shut the fuck up uh, i say these people who represent impunity and these people who don't work hard for their money these people who just steal and they get away with it They look at the rest of us who have to work for every single cent and all they think about is how much they can steal from us cuz usahau ile do ya stadiums was part of your taxes and this is the reason why in the year 2027 wa Kenya tuspotoa kichwa kwa mkundu mafalaka hafai kurudi mafalaka hafai kurudi like angalia how your taxpayers are being spent wacha tuangalia communications alone communications alone what that I can come up with kuna Dr Isaac Mwaora who is the uh, spokesman office of the government spokesman Kumbuka siku za kibaki kulikuwa tu na spokesman mmoja and that was Alfred Mtua that was before Juliani hadi boma yote uh, so i guess kuzi kuna spokesman okay i digress sasa hizi kuna Isaac uh, Mwaora who's the government spokesman kuna the state house spokesman 
who's uh, Hussein Mohammed alafu kuna mse pia alikuwa appointed as the head of presidential communication service anaitwa Munyori Buku and apparently Munyori Buku is a masterful storyteller alafu apart from hapa nilisikia kuna mse mwingine pia nilichikia maongezo so there are like five people wa communications why cuz they're supposed to sell lies but as they sell these lies we are paying them with taxpayers money this is not coming from some mysterious place this is taxpayers money being used for this bullshit so these people want to use taxpayers money on this bullshit while at the same time they just want to overtax us like one minute unasikia mbadi ametokea yuko like ah mimi nenda ku reduce tax alafu the next minute unachiki the other cuz size mimi za kuambia ukiniuliza how many cs of what treasury tuko nao ndakwambia tuko na cs watatu number 1 cs ni devin d Number 2 CS would be Moses Kuria cuz that's a close friend of uh, Ruto. I think ever since he brought up four skins and Ruto alikuwa my best mbaya. Alafu number 3 would be Mbadi. Acheki. So uh that that to me cuz vile Mbadi aliingiaga alikuwa anajichocha. Oh nimekuja hapa ku reduce taxes. Oh policies zangu zitakuwa different. Basa tukianza kuangalia pay bill kama taxable income. What the fuck are we talking about? Thank you for staying with the Monday report and in what appears to be a shift in policy the national treasury is set to cut tax rates in the medium term speaking during the launch of the budget preparation process for financial year 2025-2026 treasury cabinet secretary John Mbadi says that the government will be looking to reduce the value added tax rate from 16% to 14% and corporate taxes from the current 30% to 25% to attract investment into the country Mbadi has also called on professional bodies to submit their recommendations on expenditure and engage fully in the budget making process Jimmy Mbogo Askia engage fully in the budget making process and we are here we are engaging fully and we are saying people who steal our taxes should not then turn around and tell us how much we are not paying enough taxes alafu napata wajinga wako kwa comment hapo wanabonga jua ati ye kila mtu alipe watu wengine ni nini hakuna mtu amekataa kulipa tax but we don't want someone who's a thief atataki kuona that the KRA board chair aliba allegedly the uh, advisor ameiba how are thieves supposed to handle money and then we as the citizens are supposed to be like happy with how like majuzi ilikuwa nani huu mse uh, uh, unene uh, wakishiba hawasumbui one of those two, two clowns um ito na mdavadi alikuwa anasema majuzi pia yeye alisema Kenya loses over 600 billion every year to corruption like why when you say that you are mocking us you are mocking us as Kenyans and then you ask us to give you more money if you are losing 608 billion every year to corruption we are not losing it cuz there is no money we are losing it cuz that's what they can steal if we give them more they'll steal more if 608 it move why don't we recover this 608 first first of all we gonna deal zenu za dani mkona deal zenu za shif za nini you just want to steal and steal from us but now the effect is going to be very soon utaona wa Kenya ta go back to cash so expect hizo crimes za kunyongwa na ujinga kaa hizo this government is as clueless as possible and this is why i'm telling you kama we ni mjaka na unangoja kusema 2027 oh, baba ameniambia fuck baba and fuck you sawa so, fanya kile unafaa kufanya kwa yeni uh, mkale na itakuwa do ruto ni mkale zote so tunakufa na yeye mmoja wetu hii ni siku gani ya sheikh itakaa mkale akakwambia ni aje i am worth over 5 trillion uh, nini 5 billion dollars chukua this 1 million ashaikuita hajai kuita watu wa mlima sijui hiyo time mtakuwa mkiliana nani but don't vote along tribal lines that's what i'm trying to fucking say in 2027 we need to first of all just get this government out let's wacha tukama hapo na mse mwingine ule idea yake itakuwa tu ni tax alafu pia kama una plan ku fight e corruption ingia kafala pia kusama mafala atakuachia power kama utawaambia utakuja ku fight corruption kuja ingia tu kafala kuwa kama magufuli ingia tu pale la upatiane all your good ideas and um, mizima fala za online zikinsist on corruption corruption cheza chini jifanyisho ta fight but jifanyishe fala auta fight sana then ukiingia hapo vuruga jo. vuruga kabisa anza na kabila yako ule msaliba from your tribe go for that person throw them in jail by the time you are coming for these other tribes no one will say anything and we can change this country but historia 
people just taking from our pockets, our pockets, our pockets. It's too much. Alafu as I always say, the only day I'll respect Moses Kuria 100% is the day atabaki amekutokea vizuri kabisa na atuambia kuwa the fact ashajua kuwa baby four skins zinatumika na kutengeneza skin care products that anafungua factory Kisumu hiyo siku ndamheshimu kabisa otherwise he needs to shut the fuck up eko nene